Welcome to the first Sunset Talk. Today's Sunset Talk is going to be about personality and being able to be contacted. In recent weeks, for the law firm that I'm a member of, I've conducted a lot of work where I've had to clean up a database of contacts and for that I've gone to a historical database that I've maintained for three decades and individually determined whether the relevant people uh, are still uh, using the same contact details or whether there's new ones. Now that's led me to go to various places in search of updated details and I have two things that I've learnt from that exercise. The first thing that I learnt is that people are creating websites, generally speaking, that have no personality. There is a cult of corporatism, meaning that whether people are individuals, partners, two or more people, larger groups, everyone pretends that they are some large faceless corporation or organization delivering products or services. Now, I don't tend to work that way. If I'm working with a dentist, a doctor, a carpenter, or any other person that I want to pay for a service or a product to be delivered, I want to see some personality. I don't want to be dealing with a faceless organization. So really the takeaway there for most clients is they really should be featuring human beings on their site that are actually the people at the business. They shouldn't be using generic images alone. So that was the first takeaway from the exercise of cleaning up the database for my own personal communication with clients via my firm. The second takeaway is even simpler. It's that if you have a LinkedIn page, or for that matter, Facebook or Twitter or any other platform, please decide whether you really do want complete privacy and don't want to be contacted by anybody, or whether it's actually serving your purpose that you are, for example, on LinkedIn and you have no contact details. So I found in my reviewing of many landing pages of people on LinkedIn, and I'd say no less than 60% of the pages I landed on when I went to the contact information button and uh, opened up the page which lists or should list phone number, email, maybe Skype address, uh, and maybe some social handles. I generally found that of that 60%, people were essentially providing only the information that LinkedIn itself generically produced. In other words, virtually nothing. So the takeaway on this second point is, if you have a LinkedIn presence, and you wish to be contacted, you know what to do, don't you? And the same thing I think really applies on social media, uh, other than LinkedIn, like Facebook, etc. I really don't get how you can be on these sites and have no contact details. I don't know what the fear is as to what's going to happen. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Anyway, so there are the two takeaways in this first sunset talk where I haven't lost the tie and uh, I look forward to communicating on a regular basis uh, where I can share tips from my experience uh, in law, in business um, and in other areas as we shall see. Thank you.